a hatch bed to decarbonisation and the uh, phenomenon of the greenhouse has actually become one of the major challenges uh, faced by the shipping industry. How exactly are the ship owners dealing with it right now? Well, it's a challenge which is not really uh, affecting only shipping, it's affecting the entire um, uh, globe and therefore we have to see ourselves as well as a part of it. So this is something we have to do. It's good for our children and there's no way of esca escaping that. Ha having said that, for shipping as such, it's a major challenge because we are generally a, an industry that follows the others and, and we have very specific parameters and framework that we are allowed to operate within. Moving forward in the future, there is no two minds about this. We will need to invest in uh, research and development. We will have to change the way we fuel our ships and the whole technology concept behind uh, moving um, uh, goods around the world will have to change. Obviously having always a flag of shipping uh, on top. What exactly is the cost involved in this change though? Well, the cost is, uh, I would say, is, is at this point very hard to predict. Some people, they talk about 1 trillion, some others they talk about 1.8 trillion and so on. But all these are estimates and it's very um, early to define what really the cost will be. One thing for sure is that through the research and development funds which are um, uh, uh, coming up in the future, we will have to work jointly so that the various stakeholders in the shipping industry all benefit but also contribute to the innovation moving forward. Is there a marketplace available in order to absorb this cost that may actually uh, evolve due to these regulations uh, with regards to the greenhouse emissions? I think generally what will change is the entire mindset. Uh, what we see today is that governments they subsidize the traditional fuels and, uh, and the companies around that field. I think in the future what will change uh, is that we will see also the governments realizing that we need them to decarbonize shipping but entirely as well uh, the other industries as well. Normally regulations, uh, some of the people that work in the shipping industry claim that they do not actually take into consideration the implementation of this uh, framework. How do you think regulations and the implementation of it will actually uh, work together in order to have something which can be realized? Well, I think the shipping, in the, uh, the shipping companies need to be present. Their voice needs to be loud and we have to work together. And uh, when I say work together, I don't really mean only the Greek ship owners or the um, uh, Japanese ship owners. I mean under, uh, under specific um, uh, frameworks. I think EXA works very closely together with ICS. Uh, we have uh, Intermanager, we have BIMCO. All these bodies together, they need to find a way of collaborating together obviously with the cargo owners, uh, shippers and so on. It is certainly not the first time you are actually attending a Capital Link forum and uh, what is your impression? One thing I realize is that Capital Link, Nicolas Bronozis and the team, they keep surprising us by having always good uh, delegates and, uh, and high profile uh, people attending the conferences. One thing which is consistent is that they typically they are forced to bring more chairs into the room whenever the panels are there. So this is something that is unique, I believe.